Lily and Harold Stein. Welcome to Peppers and Glowworms. Um, I think I should turn this off. Wait a minute. So a while ago I made a chili pepper taste test on the Cariolokia Screeper Strain 0 F3 specimen number 2. It um, produced only two berries but I grew it in an aquaponic way so uh, I'm glad that it did produce anything at all. It's an experimental setup. Uh, more about that in the video where I made the first taste test I guess. I won't repeat this. I'll try to keep it nice and short this time. So this is the second berry right here, nice and small, which is nice because I want to breed a um, small fruited super hot chili pepper. That's my goal. So I'll just pluck this one off. There we go. first. I, <clears throat> I need those seeds. Um, the last taste test, it wasn't quite as hot as I was hoping for, but um, hot enough, I guess. And the taste was very good, so I'm definitely keeping the seeds. And therefore, I don't eat the whole fruit. I just extract the seeds first. Whoops. Now let's see what we have inside. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, nice smell. Ooh, very nice. And lots of seeds, which is also nice. Yeah, that's more than in the last fruit. And good thing I put on some gloves. I think it feels a bit juicy. Mm -hmm. Come on. Yeah, definitely more seeds than the last one. Still more. Yep. Oh, the smell, the smell, the smell. Nice and a bit terrifying. That smell. I think that's all. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, about twelve, about a dozen seeds. Okay, I guess I will consume both pieces at once. At the same time, I uh, won't be stalling for time anymore, just. Hmm? 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 Not as juicy as I was thinking, but maybe um, I wasted some juice uh, by extracting the seeds. Mm. Acidic. Not, <coughs> not as sweet as the last one. <coughs> Tastes a bit peppery, like like black pep black pepper, you know, but not chili pepper. The other pepper that is not uh, very much related to the, to chili pepper <coughs> genus pepper, not genus capsicum. Mm. Mm. 
Mm, it has definitely heat. Mm. Hmm. Yeah, I'd say about the same level as the other fruit of this specimen. <coughs> mm. Not as sweet as last time, but maybe that's because it was later in the season when that fruit ripened. But still, mm. Mm. yeah, taste. I'd say mm, at least an 8 out of 10. Mm, yeah. 8 out of 10. And the heat? Well, it's firing up. But I guess the small fruit, the fruit size was very good for my uh, purposes. Um, it doesn't feel as, as hot as if the berry would be, have been as big as a habanero, for example. No. So, um, I don't want to say 9 for the heat on the mouth, that feels too high, but definitely a, a very a very high 8. <clears throat> yeah. Mm. Very localized, where I shoot it. No, that's, that's nice, decent. Mm -hmm. uh, let's say heat 8, it starts to fade a bit now in the mouth, but that's actually what I want. I want a short, small, um, a short, intense pulse of heat that uh, dissipates quickly after that. Not something <laughs> where you have to fight with all the whole rest of the day. Just like in analogy to uh, alcohol, uh, a small shot, quick, low amount and intense, uh, rather than a uh, a whole, um, a whole uh, bottle after bottle of beer, for example. Not that I'm uh, very much <laughs> um, active in this field, but that's a good analogy that most people will understand, I guess. The uh, small support is the uh, analog of a shot in the terms of uh, alcohol. Yeah. Uh, heat in the belly. So far I don't feel anything, but I have again eaten uh, enormous amounts of food. Like kebab and uh, spaghetti carbonara. Uh, so fatty substances, creamy. That, um, and I have some oats uh, that I will consume afterwards as a safety precaution. I didn't eat them before. Or some milk. Normally I don't uh, take milk to my oats. Um, I just soak them in water. But uh, now uh, I have a good excuse to use some milk. No, uh, it's fine in the belly. So um, I guess I have to say this time one or two. There is a little bit of heat right now. Maybe it will intensify. And if it does, I will make a little appendix. But so far, I have to say, uh, one. Uh, not zero, but one. Uh, heat in the mouth, eight. Taste, eight. Uh, heat in the belly, so far, just one. Which is also nice, it's not a trait <laughs> that I want to uh, uh, heighten. Uh, intense heat in the mouth and no heat in the belly would be fine by me. Uh, but uh, <laughs> we shall see how that turns out. I'll keep those seats. And um, well, as you can see from the arrangement here, uh, there are some more uh, chili peppers. There and there. That's just my good luck chili pepper um, up there. Um, just for good luck, obviously. And uh, today, or last night, was the first night uh, where it was uh, a little bit uh, frosty, so I took those in. Um, and a uh, nice thing is, they uh, started late in the season, I think. Um, uh, but this one uh, produced a noticeable amount of fruits. And um, this one, uh, a little bit, there's one, at least one. And this one has so far no fruits produced. Um, the leaves look the best, 
and it actually are two plants just like there so I don't think here are any fruits but uh, I'll keep it inside regardless but uh, for that one there's definitely hope that those fruits will ripen uh, still in winter and I will have uh, maybe a taste test at least for one or two other specimens of the um, Ahicharipa F3 a cross between an Ahicharapita and a Bujolokia chocolate uh, third generation I have already tried out a few of them um, but not with the intended results so I'm trying uh, multiple specimens for this generation still had some seeds left this year and hopefully I will get some uh, still this year or maybe <laughs> in the beginning of next year uh, we shall see some of those fruits are almost ripened I think yep 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 I'll give you some close-ups of the um, Ahicharipa F3 specimens um, well I have to see <laughs> where the numbers uh, should continue mm, yeah so there's still a little bit of hope for my chili pepper breeding program in 2024 I guess that's it Okay. Yeah.